The Life and Sad Ending of Peter Mayhew. Peter William Mayhew was born on the 19th of May, 1944, in Barnes, Surrey. His height was a product of Marfan syndrome, not giantism. I don't have a big head, Mayhew said when he was asked about the cause of his height. His peak height was 7 feet 3 inches, 2.21 meters. Mayhew gained his first acting job when the producers of Sinbad and The Eye of the Tiger, 1977, discovered him from a photograph in a newspaper article about men with large feet and cast him in the role of Minotaur. When casting the original Star Wars, 1977, director George Lucas needed a tall actor who could fit the role of the hairy alien Chewbacca. He originally had in mind 6 foot 6 inch 1.98 meter bodybuilder David Prowse, but Prowse chose to play Darth Vader. This led Lucas to cast Mayhew, who was working as an orderly in the radiology department of King's College Hospital, London. He became aware of a casting call for Star Wars, which was filming at Elstree Studios in Hertfordshire. The 7 foot 3 inch tall actor was immediately cast as Chewbacca after he stood up to greet Lucas. Mayhew continued working as an orderly at Mayday Hospital in between filming the original Star Wars trilogy. Mayhew modeled his performance of Chewbacca after researching the behavior of bears, monkeys, and gorillas he saw at the London Zoo. Lucas said Mayhew was, quote, the closest any human being could be to a Wookiee, big heart, gentle nature, and I always learned to let him win. The character did not have any lines, the sounds he made being derived from sound recordings of animal noises. Mayhew played Chewbacca in five Star Wars films, the original trilogy, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, and Star Wars The Force Awakens. He played the role in the 1978 television film Star Wars Holiday Special and in a 1980 appearance on The Muppet Show. He also recorded dialogue for the Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 3 finale episode, Wookiee Hunt. Mayhew played the role in commercials and hospital appearances for sick children and made numerous appearances as Chewbacca outside the Star Wars films. Mayhew appearing as Chewbacca was honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the MTV Film Awards in 1997. He also made other media appearances outside of playing Chewbacca. He appeared on NBC's Identity, where his identity was based on the fact that he played Chewbacca and was a frequent guest in the early days of Slice of Sci-Fi. While Mayhew portrayed Chewbacca in Star Wars The Force Awakens, he was not in Star Wars The Last Jedi, but was listed in the credits as Chewbacca Consultant. Mayhew retired from playing Chewbacca due to health issues. Junas Sotamo shared the portrayal of Chewbacca with Mayhew in Star Wars The Force Awakens and then completely replaced him in subsequent Star Wars films. Outside Star Wars, Mayhew appeared in the 1978 horror film Terror, directed by Norman J. Warren. In the English version of Dragon Ball GT, A Hero's Legacy, he provided the voice for Shusha, he also appeared in Yesterday Was a Lie. Mayhew wrote two books for younger audiences, Growing Up Giant, which explains that being different is a strength instead of a weakness, and the anti-bullying book for children, My Favorite Giant. In his personal life, Peter Mayhew married Mary Angelique Angie Luker, a native of Texas, on the 7th of August, 1999. The two lived in Boyd, Texas, and together they had three children, Katie, Cheryl, and Kathleen. He became a naturalized citizen of the United States in 2005 at a ceremony in Arlington, Texas. Mayhew underwent double knee replacement surgery in 2013. He had been wheelchair-bound for the previous two years and was still largely reliant on it at the time of filming The Force Awakens. In January 2015, Mayhew was briefly hospitalized near his home in Texas due to a bout of pneumonia. In July 2018, Mayhew had successfully undergone 
unspecified spinal surgery to improve his mobility and was recovering. Sadly, Mayhew died of a heart attack on April 30, 2019, at his home in Boyd, Texas, three weeks before his 75th birthday. He was buried in Reno, Parker County, Texas, in Azalan Memorial Park and Mausoleum.